Well, it's been a huge week for courtroom drama, and now huge legal developments will be happening after the election. Trump's New York sentencing now will be on November 26th, and Hunter Biden's sentencing will be coming in December, as many wonder whether a pardon will be coming for him soon after. To Peter Ducey with the latest from the White House. Peter. Charles, for months, the official line here at the White House has been what it continues to be today, that President Biden would rather let his son rot away in some jail cell at a federal penitentiary than use the power of the pardon while he still has it. Will you accept the jury's outcome, their verdict, no matter what it is? Yes. And have you ruled out a pardon for your son? Yes. Hunter is going to be sentenced now in December and says, I will not subject my family to more pain, more invasions of privacy, and needless embarrassment. For all I have put them through over the years, I can spare them this, and so I have decided to plead guilty. And it's worth noting that White House officials this week are warning of Russian disinformation in this presidential election. However, their official company line has been, and still is, that Hunter's laptop is Russian disinformation. Yes, yes, yes. God love you, man. You, you're a one horse pony. I promise you, my Justice Department will be totally on its own making its judgments about how they should proceed. So, President Biden says now he's not going to pardon or commute Hunter. But remember, he also told us just this summer that he was not going to drop out of the presidential election, and he did. Charles. Peter Ducey, great points at the White House. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.